And hello, this is week four, three, day two. You should have just watched a helping verb video that tells you there are more than um, three helping verbs. Yesterday we worked on have, has, and had, and there's actually 23 to be exact. So those are not the only helping verbs out there. There are more helping verbs that help tell the tense of the main verb. Remember, helping verbs are exactly that. They help out the main verb. Is, are, am, was, were, and will are all uh, more helping verbs that help um, tell the tense of the verb. And also, don't forget that your helping verb does have to agree with your subject. So if your subject is Jack, you can't say Jack were mowing. You have to say Jack was mowing the lawn. Was helps tell when Jack was mowing. Peg and Dan are taking a test. You're not going to say Peg and Dan is taking a test. You have to say Peg and Dan are taking a test. They're doing it right now. So that helping verb helps tell the tense of the main verb taking. And another example, the boys were running a race. They were doing it, past tense, and it agrees with our subject of boys. So let's do some practice using the correct helping verb in the sentence. The bus blank parked in front of the school. Try each helping verb out. The bus is parked in front of the school, or the bus am parked in front of the school. Well, that doesn't make sense. The bus is parked. Is agrees with our subject, and it helps tell when it was parked in front of the school. Number two, the children blank eaten all the pizza. The children have eaten all the pizza, or the children has eaten all the pizza. We've got a plural subject, so our helping verb should be have. Helps tell when the children have eaten the pizza. Number three, the gym class blank gathered for track and field practice. The gym class have gathered or the gym class has gathered. The gym class is our subject. It's singular. There's just one class. It goes with the helping verb has. The gym class has gathered. And let's do one last one for practice. The chef blank added too much salt to the soup. The chef have added too much salt or the chef has added too much salt. The chef is a singular subject. Singular subject agrees with the helping verb has to show that it has already happened in the past. So your sheet looks like this today. You need to choose which helping verb fits in the sentence, the helping verbs you can choose from are is, are, am, was, were, and will. The skill box will also remind you about those helping verbs and which ones fit with um, your subject and the verb tense. Last week we blanked learning about Spartina. Last week we is learning about Spartina. Last week we are learning about Spartina. Last week we am learning about Spartina. Last week we was learning about Spartina. Last week we were learning about Spartina. Last week we were learning about Spartina. Only one makes sense to show that it was happening last week, and it's something that we were doing. Last week we were learning about Spartina. So your job on this page is to fill in which helping verb fits in the sentence, and it may be helpful for you to jot down these choices or highlight them up here in your skill box. So when you're done, come on back and correct to see how you did. Thanks.